Hi again, Seth here from macOS10screencasts.com. I will show you CoCollector Pro right now, and this is coming from mcubedsoftware.com slash software slash CoCollector Pro. CoCollector Pro is a snippet management application, which is just really easy to use and has some really, really nice features. To get us started, we go straight to CoCollector Pro. When you start CoCollector Pro for the first time, you will be presented with some already pre-installed uh, snippets like some getting started examples or HTML examples or you have these hello world examples in your library you will find all your different snippets you can group them together by creating new groups by clicking this plus button in the bottom and you would then provide an, uh, a name for this group maybe a better one than I did but you can add your snippets to this group by dragging them over to the group and then they will show up inside the group you can create so-called smart groups by going to the gear menu and then enter a group name like in my case Ruby then select several options you can have CoCollector Pro searching through your library to for different stuff like name, source, language and all this, all that sort of stuff and then when you adjust your options in my case I just select Ruby from the right list or you may add additional options to your list like um, tags or so this will affect the different snippets showing up in the group okay I will remove the tags right now because I don't need them click OK and my new smart group is created. You see that currently no snippets are in my library that ha have the language Ruby assigned to them. So we create a new snippet by going to snipper.com and from here we will have a look at the Ruby snippets. Here we grab the first one as plain text, copy it to the clipboard, go back to CoCollector Pro, add a new snippet you paste the snippet and then you see that the text I is being inserted in black letters. This is not very beautiful, no Macintosh application should do that and CoCollector Pro has built-in support for TextMate bundles. If you don't know TextMate, uh, I will tell you what TextMate bundles are. TextMate bundles are files that say how a programming language has set its syntax for, let's say, classes or um, or variables or comments and all that stuff. When you want to colorize now this text just select the language from the list, click it and then you see that this text will be automatically be colorized. Enter some more options like a name, in this case this property access in Ruby and now we have created our very own first Ruby snippet. This one will show up in the Ruby smart group and when we add more Ruby scripts with ha which have the language Ruby assigned to them they will all be automatically show up as well. We can even go to the info inspector and add even more information about the snippet like the source we can assign some tags properties and we can add some description and all that sort of stuff but what happens when you're on the road and you don't have your snippets around and you really can't remember how you did some specific coding problem and you're just you know you're blocked lost or some thing like that. CoCollector Pro or CoCollector uh, has taken care of that. You can go to CoCollector.net, you can register for free and CoCollector Pro is able to upload all your snippets or just some groups to the CoCollector.net website. When you go to the preferences, to the sharing tab, there you can enable sharing for either your whole library or just some selected groups. Once you're Snippets are 
being uploaded to the website, you can just log in from every computer around the world and you have your snippets there. Okay, now let's go to the next use case of CoCollector Pro. What happens if you add snippets? CoCollector Pro has no uh, language highlighting method already built in. This is no problem for CoCollector. We will add some MySQL s snippet right now. We go to the start page from Snippler and there we find my, uh, MySQL and this EAN13 check fits very good in this screencast. We will again grab it, add a new snippet, paste it here and from the language list we don't have a MySQL option, just this SQL Rails option. No problem, go to the preferences again. In the languages tab we will add our own language which we will call MySQL and then we will choose from the list from built-in TextMate bundles our MySQL bundle but it's not here. The list will also show all the currently installed TextMate bundles from TextMate itself in this very long list in my case. Or, and this one's really cool, you can click on Install Bundles and this one will show you all the different TextMate bundles in the subversion repository of TextMate. When you have found your TextMate bundle, select it, hit Install. This will download the TextMate bundle from the subversion repository to your hard drive, then hit Select and your TextMate bundle will be chosen. As syntax we will use sql.plist, close this window, assign MySQL to this snippet and you see that this snippet is now beautifully colorized. Again add some more information to this snippet if you want, but I hope you know now how to get your stuff into CoCollector. How do we get stuff out of CoCollector? Let's say we are inside TextMate and we want to insert just quickly uh, one of our snippets. Okay, we can go back to CoCollector and from here we can go to the window menu and do a snippet search for, let's say, EAN, copy to clipboard and then paste it into TextMate, but this is odd. You know, I'm we are living in 2009 right now and there must be a faster way to accomplish this goal. CoCollector Pro has a so-called search panel you will find in the general tab of CoCollector. Just assign a unique shortcut to this uh, search panel. In my case I will use option F12. Close the preferences, go to TextMate and then hit option F12 the snippet search window will come up just as we were in CoCollector Pro. Hit the enter key and you see that CoCollector has inserted this text automatically for us. This was it for this screencast. If you like this program go to mcubedsoftware.com and if you want to be one of the lucky winners of one of three free licenses just go to our website comment there, leave us a comment if you like this application, what you like about this application, link to us if you want, if you link make sure we get the link so you will take part in this raffle. And this was it from me, I'm really looking forward to see you in the future, bye bye.